Hey, what's going on guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a new informational video uh, about some stats that EA have just released and it is the new legends and the different stats for the current legends on Ultimate Team. Basically, this video is going to show you every single legend on FIFA 16 Ultimate Team with their official stats, which is awesome. If you wouldn't mind hitting that like button on today's video, that would be absolutely awesome and subscribe if you're new to my channel for more of this type of stuff. I can't wait until we get the full FIFA 16 database because then I'm going to do all sorts of videos based on that stuff. So I'm going to start off exactly where you're going to want me to start off, which is the new legends, their official ratings and their stats. So if you take a look at your screens right now, these are the 10 new legends that are coming to FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. And we start off with a couple of Americans. We've got Lalas, a centre-back who actually looks to be absolutely awesome. Six foot three, if I'm correct, and he's got 78 pace, 84 defending, 86 physical, and decent work rates as well. I'm pretty sure he's like medium high or low medium, something like that. But very decent centre back work rates. Uh, he looks he genuinely looks to be awesome. Only 86 rated as well, which is nice. He should be an affordable one. Then we've got Landon Donovan, Captain America, you could call him in that bottom left picture right now. He's got 87 pace, 84 shooting, 83 dribbling, and 81 passing. And on an 86 rated card, it looks pretty good, but not the best. Next up, we have a very new goalkeeper to be added to the foot 16 legends. That is a Portuguese guy called Baia. Now, he's six foot tall, but he's got some ridiculously good stats. 90 diving, 88 reflexes and handling, and 83 positioning as well. He should be a really decent keeper. Hopefully, FIFA 16 keepers will be good. If so, he'll be one to use. Okay, into the nitty gritty of the CDM, that is Gattuso. He has got, well, when you first look at his card, it looks kind of average, you know, 87 rated overall. Stats like pace and shooting are not too great, but when you get to the physical and the defending of this guy, he looks incredible. 85 defending, 92 physical. That's exactly what I'm going to want to play with as a CDM in my Legend squad on FIFA 16. I reckon he'll be an absolute rock. And then moving on to more of a creative midfielder, we've got Deco at Cam. The Portuguese guy is going to be an alternative to Rui Costa. 87 rated, so slightly lower rated than Rui Costa. Uh, and stats look really, really good. 83 pace is awesome. 88 dribbling and 89 passing. Now that's what I'm talking about. He's going to be your creator. Uh, and I wonder, I wonder how many people are going to use him over Rui Costa on FIFA 16. Also to be noted, four star skills on this guy, which is great. We now have a Finnish legend coming to FIFA 16 Ultimate Team in the form of Yari Litmanen. Yari Litmanen is going to be an 88 rated central attacking midfielder and his stats look really good. The only thing that lets him down is three star skill moves in terms of that. I was hoping maybe we'd get four, um, but 82 pace, 81 dribbling, 87 shooting overall and then 83 passing too. That should be absolutely epic. Like long shots with Litmanen are going to be a thing and they're going to be great. Next up, another one I'm really excited for, which is going to be the right back Zanetti. We finally have an alternative to Gary Neville at right back. And Zanetti looks incredible, man. 86 pace. Oh, he's 88 rated overall for starters, which is brilliant. 86 pace, 84 dribbling and passing. 85 defending and 80 physical. My god, those are some insane stats. He's also got 63 shooting, which is not the worst thing in the world. I can imagine this guy getting used tons more than Gary Neville at right back in a full legend squad. Also, he's going to link with Messi because of... Well, he's going to link to anyone, of course. But he's going to get a strong link to Messi, uh, who is now a right wing. So I can see people using that in FIFA 16. It's going to be sick. And then Man United fans can get excited for Ryan Giggs because he's been given an 89 overall rating and his card looks pretty decent too. 90 pace, 88 dribbling and 87 passing. Pretty sure they've only given him three star skill moves, but who cares when you've got that much pace, that good dribbling. You're just going to be tearing down the left hand side and whipping that ball in to your striker. So a centre-back then in Alessandro Nesta is the, well, joint highest rated uh, new legend on FIFA 16. His card is going to be really good in my opinion, but it just doesn't look as good as someone like Maldini, who it isn't going to be because Maldini's two ratings higher than him. But 67 pace, 92 defending, that's pretty good, and 76 physical, I can still see him getting used quite a lot, but I reckon for a 90 rated he's going to be one of the cheaper centre-backs. 
And then quite possibly the one I'm most excited for is George Best. Look at this card. 90 overall rating. I thought that would be higher, not going to lie. Uh, and we've got 90 pace, 89 shooting, 81 passing, and a whopping 94 dribbling. Put that together with four-star skills and weak foot. This guy is going to be an absolute tank at right wing. Oh, I can just imagine it now. You know, Giggsy one side, best the other. It's like Man United, Man United glory days, right? So those are your new legends all on screen right now. Those are the 10 new legends. Also worth noting, the old legends have got some new stats in some areas. So I'll go through them with you right now. So EA decided to change the way that they calculate the stats. And that has affected some of the legends overall ratings. And uh, well, just some of their ratings actually on their stats on their card. Um, so in terms of this page right here, I think everyone's staying the same rating. We may have seen some slight... Uh, decreases and increases in stats you guys will know if you can compare them to FIFA 15 so this page is mostly full of the center backs from FIFA 15's legends now uh, the two notable changes that I can see here are Frank De Boer has actually had quite a lot of his stats changed like he's had a massive increase in passing different uh, defending different shooting and that sort of stuff and then Bobby Moore they've actually increased Bobby Moore's defending up to 90 which is great they've given him a plus one overall increase and also they've dropped his pace a little bit but I think that goes alongside the defending increase the pace has come back down it doesn't really matter he still looks a little bit more like I think he should look not too many changes on this page. I think uh, Luis Figo's shooting has gone up by one. But genuinely across the board there, I think everyone's roughly stayed the same. Definitely stayed the same ratings. Uh, but in terms of their stats, I don't think there are any changes in this category. Next up, we've got a whole host of left backs, right backs, cams, centre midfielders, CDMs. Uh, one thing that I do notice is Valderrama's defending is now down from like 26 to 18. That's crazy. He's got literally, his stats have gotten worse. <laughs> it's just, I don't even fathom that, you know. Uh, I also thought Hullet stays the same, Matias stays the same, Vieira, Akocha. All of these guys are keeping roughly the same stats, just with one or two changes across the board. Next up, we've got some strikers to talk about on FIFA 16. This is everybody's cards. I think everyone stays the same overall rating on this page. But uh, what I've noticed with a lot of the strikers is that some of their defending stats have gone down. Some people have had a plus one on the shooting and stuff like that to counter it. Um, but someone like Michael Owen, his dribbling and his shooting have changed. And his defending is down by a few to 22. But that doesn't really matter. The, fi the bit that I like to see is the fact that the, the dribbling and the shooting have gone up. I don't care about the defending. And the final page of strikers, our final page of our FIFA legends. Uh, we've got, I don't think anyone's had a... Uh, overall rating increase but there's been some changes in stats like Gary Lineker's got better shooting less defending a little bit like the Michael Owen situation and that's the same for a lot of these players I think Pele has kept the exact same ratings from his FIFA 15 card there was a lot of talk about him maybe being 94 rated this year not quite sure what that's about but he's decided to well EA have decided to keep that 95 overall which is quite good quite important uh, and uh, that looks epic those are our legends so I've done my best to fit every single legend on one page I did this for the top 50 uh, overall rated players for FIFA FIFA 16 um, but there's actually more legends than 50 now so there's like 60 something players on your page uh, hopefully if you're watching this in full screen you can at least see every legend if not every legend has been shown in the previous section of the video so you can always flick through the different slides that I've talked about and see the uh, specific stats for the legends that you like to use the new ones look absolutely epic I really like them uh, particular favorites would be Lalas for some reason I think his card looks epic uh, Litmanen and George Best Oh, and Zanetti as well. I'm really liking these legends. They're looking pretty sick. Uh, so that is everything you need to know about legends on FIFA 16. All of them that are going to be there. Every single stat that they've got. All official from EA. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more of this kind of informational stuff. And FIFA 16 stuff is just around the corner. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time, guys. Peace.